in terms of developing treatments for Alzheimer's disease, we, I think we need to firstly understand the biology of the disease better. And the GWAS uh, are certainly helping us understand the biology of the disease more effectively. And what the, I mean, they've t told us many things. Uh, the first thing just uh, is that, you know, some of the genes are involved in APP metabolism, like the genes involved in Mendelian disease. So they've confirmed the importance of APP metabolism. But extra to that, they have shown the importance of microglial, the micro, microglia in Alzheimer's disease and lipid meta, brain lipid metabolism. So they're really pointing us at pathways we really had not been looking at before in any great detail. So in terms of understanding the disease, they're improving our understanding of the disease and focusing on areas of research which were really neglected. Now, the other way they've helped is that we want to get better at identifying people who are going to get the disease much earlier. The idea is that treatments that we have tried so far, at least in part, have been ineffective because we've tried them too late in the disease. We've got to get, get better at identifying patients at high risk earlier. And the other way that genome-wide association studies are helping is because they are helping identify people um, before, in, before they develop clinical symptoms. And that, of course, is also in the longer run going to be very useful, I think.